from his all new strategy for the match to his impeccable footwork and coordination. Here are just some of the reasons Usyk will end up taking the Gypsy King down in the upcoming match. But what's the big deal about this match anyways? What's the hype all about, you ask? Well, besides the fact that it's between two of the greatest fighters currently, there's a lot of anticipation built around the match. They're both huge names in the sport. The Gypsy King has a perfect 33-0-1 record, 33 wins and one draw. He's also the reigning WBC and ring heavyweight champion. Not to mention, he's also ranked as the world's best active heavyweight and as the second best active boxer pound for pound by Box Rec. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. But then there's Usyk, who doesn't fall far behind. The man has fought in 20 matches so far, winning all of them, with 13 of them as knockout wins. And as for titles, he's held multiple world championships in two weight classes, including the unified WBA, IBF, and WBO heavyweight titles since 2021, and the Ring Magazine heavyweight title since 2022. The Ukrainian has also been described as having zero fear and being like the Joker. I mean, if that isn't terrifying, enough. The bout was originally supposed to take place at the end of 2022, but it got delayed as Usyk faced off Anthony Joshua in August, giving Fury some time to prepare. It seems like Fury wasn't having none of that after easily defeating Derek Chisora. Very, very satisfied. I want to shout out to Derek Chisora. He called out to Usyk, you're next. Chills, guys. Literal chills. But titles and victories aside, who's gonna end up walking out of the ring with his consciousness when the match finally takes place? Tough decision, but I'll have to side with Usyk. Now hang on, hear me out. There's no doubt Fury has many advantages over the 36-year-old. He's got the height, the reach, and is 22 kilograms over Usyk. Besides that, he's also got more experience. I won this fight tonight again. I give him the glory, he gives me the victory. It made me like strong. The cat has spent most of his career at cruiserweight and is not a natural heavyweight. So what's making me favor him over the Gypsy King? Tyson may be all that, but Usyk has built quite a reputation for himself too. He's undeniably one of the most skilled, well-rounded fighters boxing has ever seen. His coordination and the ability to hit and not be hit is incredible. If he manages his footwork and head movement, he might just be able to take Fury down with the huge disadvantages he faces in terms of height and and weight. He can make up for it with his speed, method, and slipperiness. I have to agree, it's easy to dismiss Usyk when he's facing a rival as great as Fury, but underestimating the cat might just lead to his defeat. The man has even been described to have scary reflexes, and with only a couple of months still left for the fight to take place, things are now heating up. The trash talk is what builds up the hype and gets the media buzzing before the actual showdown. And if you know anything about Fury, you know he makes the front lines in this regard. The Gypsy King makes sure everyone knows what's on his mind and does not hesitate before delivering his observations. Very warrior, warrior mentality. Took some big heavy shots in here tonight. He was caught, he was spitting blood for a long time. Usyk isn't one to do that though, so it speaks for itself when he recently spoke about Fury, trolling him on his infamous speeches. Although he respects Fury, he dissed him saying that he thinks he's the king of kings, but he's the only one who's under that impression. He said that he doesn't boast about his skills like his opponent does. He trains hard, puts in the work, and gets the results. Fury claims he can beat every boxer in the world. This is a, this is a fight between the two most high-performance heavyweight on the planet, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. There's nothing racial about this fight. But what he doesn't know is that his training and silent efforts will reveal that far better than his words will. And not to mention, he even has a whole strategy for winning against the heavyweight champion. And there's one thing he needs to keep in mind. The three-belt heavyweight world champion will avoid knocking Fury out. Out. He stated that he knows Fury is a well-trained guy and that defeating him will not be a walk in the park. But Usyk will do absolutely anything to win. Even though his aim is clear, he doesn't want to win by knockout. And the reason goes completely opposite to the nature of the sport he's in. He doesn't want to put his opponent's health in danger. The Ukrainian boxer has a very clear goal that he wants to win, but on points. He doesn't want to hurt anyone. Not gonna lie, that's pretty admirable. Besides,
fact, this isn't the first time Usyk would be underestimated for being smaller than his opponents. Many were under the same impression before his bout with Anthony Joshua, but we all know how that turned out. The Southpaw completely destroyed those claims by outboxing his 3 inches taller and 19 pounds heavier opponent, which led to his victory in the battle for the London 2012 Olympic gold medal. Chum, chum. Chum, chum. Chum, chum. Also claiming the IBF, WBO, and WBA heavyweight titles in the process. He also humbled many other fighters, handing them their first defeats. And he's even gone into the ring with a boxer from his enemy state, Russia, and emerged victorious. Four years after Russia invaded Ukraine, Usyk went on to face the undefeated Murat Gassiev. And many believed that the Russian would be the one to dismantle him. But despite an aggressive crowd and a 200-pound opponent doing his best to render him unconscious, the Southpaw's performance was unfazed. Mark my words, Usyk won't be easy to take down. But hey, don't take my word for it. Just look at what the experts had to say. I'm not the only one who thinks Usyk has what it takes to bring Fury down. Heavyweight boxer Michael Hunter also agrees. While talking to Sky Sports, he said that he doesn't think the weight difference will have as much of an impact as people are expecting. Usyk will have to make a couple of adjustments, but he's an endurance athlete. It's a styles make fights thing. A little different tactic tactics to Usyk Anthony Joshua. I'm pretty sure that Usyk would do very well. Former heavyweight world champion Haseem Rahman has the same opinion. He told Fight Hype that he thinks Usyk is the best heavyweight that's currently fighting. And since Fury imitates Usyk, he's seen a lot of success with it. Everything Fury can do in boxing, Usyk can do it better. Tyson Fury's trainer, Sugar Hill Stewart himself, believes Usyk is a force to be reckoned with. He said that the threat that Usyk poses to Tyson is that he knows how to win. Even though he may mentioned that he was trying not to answer since it would make it seem like Usyk is a good fighter. He had to be honest. He genuinely thinks that the Ukrainian boxer can be a threat to anyone, and especially to Tyson, just because he knows how to bend the match in his favor. Yeah, I'll get Usyk first and then I'll get Joe Joyce. Get when, it, when are you going to fight Usyk and where? Like I say, I'm probably going to have to have some surgery on me right elbow. I've, I've had a tough time with it in camp and that. So, when do we finally get to see the two settle their score? The highly anticipated title title match is set for April 29th at Wembley Stadium. The first ever four belt heavyweight unification was first supposed to be held in Saudi Arabia, but Fury's promoter Bob Arum has confirmed that's out of the equation. Instead, discussions are being held for a deal in the capital with the goal of the official announcement to be made soon. While speaking to ID Boxing, Arum said that they were getting close with the negotiations with both Usyk and his promoter K2 and with Tyson. They're also aiming for a press conference. Not not only in London, but in New York City as well. Uh, but maybe they will. But I really look for a stoppage within eight rounds. And with that, that's all from my side about the upcoming match. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I thought I won the fight, but thinking just ain't good enough. You know, I'm here to win. I'm here to put on a great show, you know. Usyk as a champion, please raise your hand. Under them circumstances, he managed to become champion. And still the unified heavyweight champion.